In this video, we'll discuss the differences between Google Colab and Jupyter Notebook to help you decide which platform to use for your work. Google Platform is an online platform that runs on Google Cloud. It's robust, flexible, and needs an internet connection. It's suitable for data analysis, visualization, and documentation. It supports tensor processing units, in addition to GPUs and CPUs, which is beneficial for deep learning projects. On the other hand, Jupyter Notebook runs on a local system and in your default browser. It does not require an internet connection once set up, but lacks the cloud-based features of Google Colab. Jupyter Notebooks are useful for scientific and computational work, especially in physics and data analysis. Now let's see the key differences between the two. Google Colab operates in the cloud, while Jupyter Notebook operates locally. Google Colab offers integration with Google Drive, automatically saving your files to the cloud. Jupyter Notebook does not have this feature. Google Colab provides access to TPUs, which is advantageous for deep learning tasks. Google Colab's user interface is considered user-friendly and modern, while Jupyter Notebooks are traditionally used in academic and scientific research for computational tasks. Now both platforms have their strengths and are suited for different use cases. The choice depends on your specific needs, such as cloud integration and hardware support. If cloud integration is crucial for your tasks, then choose Google Colab. If it's not, try using Jupyter Notebook. You can also open your Jupyter Notebook files in Google Colab. You can watch the video on our channel on this topic. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials. See you next time.